Good morning, Eagles. I'm Malaya. And I'm Holly. From Third Hour Broadcasting. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, in liberty and justice for all. So our first story will be on Win versus Advisory by Evan and Zach. Hey, Holly, which one do you like? I don't know. Now let's have, head over to Zach and Evan and see what they think. Hi, my name is Evan. And I'm Zach, and we'll be talking about wind time versus advisory. We have interviewed some students and teachers to see which one they prefer. Do you prefer wind time or advisory? Um, I like them for different reasons. So I like advisory because I get to really get to know those kids, um, and they may not be in my class. Um, but I like wind time because I get to work with kids one-on-one -on -one if they need extra help. Um, and I also get a chance to maybe do something that I don't normally get to do in my classroom. So I kind of like them equally. How would you improve on the wind time schedule? Ooh, wind time schedule. Well, I like it better than what we had the previous year, where we had like a random schedule every Tuesday and Wednesday. So I feel like we've already improved on that. Um, Schedule-wise, I don't know. Um, I feel like it's fine so far. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Do you prefer wind time or advisory? Advisory. Why? Because I get to sit with Jacob and Grace. And how would you improve on the wind time schedule? I would... I don't know. Do you prefer wind time or advisory? Wind time. Why? Uh, probably because I get to choose what I want to do, um, what things I want to do with my students, and typically um, I have a smaller group of students and I get to work with them. Um, yeah. Is there any other way you'd improve the schedule? Oh gosh. Um, I don't know. Um, I like having a consistent schedule every day, unlike we did last year when we had like wind time different, you know, or we had the wind time later in the day, and so our schedule is different. I did not like that. So I, I, as long as it's consistent every day, that's what I like. Do you prefer wind time or advisory? Um, wind time. Why? Uh, because you could just pick whatever class you want to go to. Maybe if you need help or something and on a subject. Would you improve the schedule? Um. Probably make it at the end of the day, so like you don't really have to worry about other classes. Do you like one time or advisory better? Um, that's a toss up. They both have some pros and cons. Um, I would say that I prefer win time over advisory time. All right. Um, would you change anything else about the schedule? Um, I wouldn't change anything about the schedule. I like it the way it is. Um, Wind time is just a little bit more fun because we get kids get a little bit more freedom. Um, they get to come in and uh, work on their math skills or do different activities, and so I just like that the environment of the wind time. All right, you prefer wind time or advisory, and why? I like wind time because you get to like work on some things that you need to, or you can like play fun games. Um, what else would you change about the schedule? Um, I like the schedule actually. All right. Thanks. Some results from our survey we took. As you can see, advisory is the preferred choice of the SVMS students. Thanks for watching. Back to you, anchors. Malaya, what are you doing? Track season started. I gotta get in shape. Okay, now let's head over to Xandria and Olivia and learn more about track. Good morning, Eagles! I'm Olivia. And I'm Zandri. And this, this is everything you need to know about, about track. track. In this video, you will know the coaches, the dates for track, what you need for track, where track is, and how to make up for missed practices. Who are the coaches for track? Well, hi, I'm Coach Keeler, and I coach 8th grade track, and we have HMS coaches and South Valley coaches. At HMS, we have Coach Langer, Coach Hoskins, and Coach Kalal. And here at your own South Valley, we have five coaches, including myself, Mrs. Gall, Mr. Golding, Mrs. Gagline, Mr. Fiedler. What do you need for track practices? For track practices, you need a really good attitude. You need a water bottle that has your name on it. You need some good running shoes. And make sure that you have clothes that are for any weather, because we're going to try to be outside if we can, but we might go inside as well. So be prepared. Where is track practice? Track practices are at HMS, and there's a shuttle bus from South Valley that'll take you there. You need to dress out quickly right after school, and then there'll be two shuttle buses that take you over to Heritage. Should you do track and how does it help you? 
Why you should do track is to meet new people, discover new sports. It's a, a very exploratory uh, track program at the eighth grade where we'll teach you how to do things like high jump and long jump and hurdle and shot put and discus, long distance, short distance. We just do it all. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we had 125 just South Valley students show up at our meeting and we're going to combine that with heritage so that makes a very large competitive team and we're really excited about it this year. What do you do at track practices? At track practices we'll get you a really good warm out so that a warm up so that your muscles get all warm before we put you into some strenuous activity. Um, eventually we'll split between distance and, sh and um, short distance, long distance, field, things like that. But uh, we'll have a pretty good workout in the middle there and then a cool down. How excited are you to coach this year's eighth grade? Very excited. We have been ridiculously competitive in the last few years. We got a lot of hardware in our trophy case for you to see. Um, I'm looking forward to the competition and meeting some new kids. Thanks for watching. Back to you, anchors. Q, 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 Holly, Q. What are you doing? I'm playing on my Xbox. Okay, that's enough of that. Now let's head on over to Alex and Ty on what game consoles people prefer. Good morning, morning Eagles. Eagles. My name is Ty and this is Alex. We are wanting to find out what is the best console people prefer. Some data have shown why people like certain consoles. Sony has sold over 70 million PlayStation. PS4s are $100 cheaper than the Xbox One. The Game Pass is P for PS gives people over 600 games from pre previous PlayStation games. Some people like it, the PS4 controller, because it is skinnier than the Xbox controller. They also like it much better VR system than the Xbox VR. Microsoft is the producer of the Xbox and has sold over 76 million Xboxes. The Game Pass for Xbox is $10 cheaper for people to play online. They may like Xbox because it's able to play games for previous Xbox games without paying money. Also, it saves you all your data on cloud for free while PSA ch charge you money to store data. Nintendo has sold over 101 million consoles. Some people like it because it's able to play on TV or on the Switch, and it's also very portable. Some people like it because it's a fun game to play, and it, normally people choose the Nintendo console because it's a family fun game. PC has sold over 1.2 billion uh, PCs to gamers around the world. This is uh, why people choose it, because it sells a lot of PC-only games, and their games are much cheaper. And the results are in. 30.6% chose PS4. And... 48.1% chose Xbox. And 6.5% chose Nintendo. And 10.2% chose PC. And 46 chose none. And then, many people like different consoles because of the different attributes that each console has. So we want to know what console do the students like the most at this school. Back to you, anchors. My favorite NBA team is the 49ers. What's yours? Yeah, same. LeBron James is the best quarterback ever. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Let's head on over to Gavin and Lucas to learn about the best NBA teams. Good morning, Eagles. Eagles. My name is Gavin. My name is Lucas. Our topic today is about the top three NBA teams from each conference. Starting with the third best team in the Eastern Conference is the Indiana Pacers with a record of 37-19. and 19. <laughs> The best point average is Victor Oladipo with the average points of 18.6. The Pacers are currently on a five-game winning streak. On to the second best team, the Toronto Raptors with a record of 38-19. The best point average on the Raptors is Kawhi Leonard with a point average of 27.4 points. The Raptors are on a win streak of one game. The best team right now in the Eastern Conference is Milwaukee Bucks with a record of 38-13. The best point average is Giannis Antetokounmpo with a point average of 26.6 points per game. The Bucks have a win streak of three games. And now we're going to introduce the top three teams in the Western Conference. At number three, we have the Oklahoma City Thunder with a record of 33-19. The best player on their team right now is Paul George, who is currently averaging 
The second best team to Western Conference is the Denver Nuggets with a record of 37 and 18. The best player on their team is Nikola Jokic, who is averaging 20.1 points per game. The best team in the Western Conference is the Golden State Warriors with a record of 37 and 15. The best player on their team right now is Kevin Durant, who is currently averaging 27.5 points per game. That's it for our video. Thank you for watching. Back, Back to you, Andrews. Eighth graders, we're calling you out. We really need your donations. And not just eighth graders. The seventh and sixth graders can help out, too. Now let's head on over to us to learn more about our story. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Malaya. And I'm Holly from Eagle News Third Hour. This is our story about donating items for our eighth grade day. For the last two years, our school has made a day where the eighth graders do fun activities when the sixth and seventh graders go on a field trip. There will be a variety of fun activities such as a foam machine, hamster balls outside, and more. <laughs> Are your clothes too small? <laughs> yeah. Are you tired of playing with the same old boring toys? <laughs> yeah. Then bring all of your old clothes and donate to the fun drive for our 8th grade day. This donation will take place March 11th and 12th from 4 to 8. You can donate shoes, clothes, kitchen items, and more. <laughs> we hope you can help us 8th graders out and donate items. Now that you know more about this, you should donate items for our 8th grade day. Back to you, anchors. Our final segment will be learning about the teachers at SVMS. Now let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Kara. Hi, I'm Kate. And today we're going to be interviewing this week. Let's go. Today we are here with Ms. Reed. We are here to ask you some questions about your life. Are you having a wonderful day today? I'm having a wonderful day. Where did you grow up at? I grew up in Oklahoma, Arkansas. Did you play any sports while growing up? Yes, I played everything they offered. What college did you go to? To Northwest and Missouri Western. How long have you been teaching at SVMS? One year. How old were you when you got inspired to be a teacher? 20. 22. Do you like your job and why? I love my job because I get to work with kids every day. What are your top weaknesses about being a teacher? Um, students always being different, so it's not the same thing every day. Um, getting to hear the new ideas that students have and what's cool because I'm completely out of touch with that. So you keep me in the loop. Thank you for your time, Ms. Reed, and have a fantastic day. What do you teach? I teach 8th grade health and PE. How long have you been teaching? I have been teaching 15 years. Have you ever taught anything else than gym? Yes. Um, the first six years I taught elementary health. What college did you go to? University of Kansas. What grade do you like teaching the most? Um, I, my preferred grade is 8th grade. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have two kids. A 4 year old girl and a 9 month old boy. What do you do in your free time? Um, in my free time I really like to travel. Um, I, my family doesn't live here so I travel a lot. I like to cook. I like to be outside, play with my kids. Do you have any pets? Yes, we have a cat. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Alexis Sweatman. And I'm Elijah Young from the from Eagle, Eagle News, News Third, Third Hour. Hour. Our story for you today will be on our school musical, The Boyfriend. You will learn about the following three things in our story. When the musical is, the cost of tickets, and why people want to see the show. So, The Boyfriend is uh, based in the 1920s um, around the French Riviera at um, Madame de Vinay's school for girls. And so they have this huge like carnival ball coming up at the school. And Polly, um, all the girls have other dates, but Polly says she has a date, but she doesn't. 
and then she meets this um, boy named Tony, and then you kind of get to see um, them fall in love, and there's some other love interests in the show, and there's a beach scene, and it's really fun, and you should come. There's lots of dance numbers too, and it's like, just, it's all super fun, you guys should come. Tickets are $5 each. Yeah, the show's on March 7th, 8th, and 9th at SVMS. <coughs> we hope we can see you there. <laughs> As you can see, lots of people are excited to see the musical. We hope to see you all on show night. Back to you, anchors. I'm Alaya. And I'm Holly. And thanks for watching our broadcast. We'll see you next week. <laughs>